So this is my Epson V700 scanner. At the moment it's scanning 22 frames of 35mm colour negative and it's done 8 so far. You can see it's coming through on my laptop here. It's done 8 shots so far. It's a very slow process. It's got another 6 minutes to go. Taking about 10 minutes all up. So you can see over here these uh, scans are progressively coming on the desktop as JPEGs and I'll put them into a folder and open them up or put them into photos or iPhoto and we'll see what they look like afterwards. So there you go, we'll just stop it for the moment. So in this box, we've got um, some of Uncle Harry's slides. Now these are, um, uh, everyone should have an Uncle Harry is what I'm trying to say. I'll show you what's in here. And this is only a small slice of the legacy I've got left over from Uncle Harry. And he was a keen Agfa man. Some of these slides are probably other ones besides Uncle Harry's, but I mean, this is only a small portion of all the slides, family slides that we've got from my dad, my wife's dad, Uncle Harry, and uh, myself, and other people I've collected along the years. So in a minute, we'll stop this, and we will um, frame them up and, and put them in, and then see if we can scan some of them. So just keep watching this space. So Uncle Harry, Uncle Harry and Auntie Doreen visited Israel and overseas a few times. They were quite keen on visits to the Holy Land, and as Strong Christians were very interested in travelling to all those parts. So I'm going to have a look in this little slide viewer here, which doesn't run on batteries. It just has natural light coming into the top here, just to see what some of them are so I can see the quality of what I want to scan. This one here is goats grazing with the Druze goat herd in the Golan Heights. So when was this? This was about 19... April 81, these were processed, I think. So that's that one there. See what else we've got. This is Orthodox Jewish Boy at SAFED. I don't know what that is. Um, so these are quite historical, these. This is an um, armoured car used in the liberation of West Galilee in 1948. Yeheim Memorial. Goodness. This is a bit of a journey anyway. I'm going to have a look at these and then I'll come back in a minute and I'll, be, I'll show you what they look like when I put them in the ho uh, slide holder and then I'll scan them. Okay, so, so now you can see we have um, 12 slides uh, lined up ready to be scanned in the Epson V700. So we'll just shut the lid and we'll come back over here. There's yours truly. This has gone to sleep. We'll come back up here. We'll find the scanner. I closed it. I shut it down down here somewhere before. Where is it? Camera window, map utility, scanner. That's not it. There it is there. Epsom scan. So we'll see if we can open that up. There it is. So we're going to still use just the ordinary home mode. And we're trying to gonna find find um, what options we've got here. We've got positive film, so that's that there. Positive film. Current preview map will be a raise, okay? So we'll do that. And we're gonna do color. We're gonna do it 300 DPI, target size original. I don't know what all these settings mean half the time. Configuration. Uh, it means we can um, other color. 
Film size, preview, continuous. Yeah, there's a few settings we, we won't bother too much with that. We'll just do a preview and see what comes here now. Scanner is warming up. Please wait. We'll just wait. I can hear something happening. Preview scan in progress. thumbnails. I'm trying to remember how to do all this of course. There we are, it's framing them all up. You can see them all there. They look pretty good don't they? So now we'll go down here and we'll just click scan over here if you can see over here where I am here. See what happens next. Oh, we don't want to call this Port Augusta. We want to call this. Um, we'll call this Israel. Okay, Israel JPEG, and we want to go back. Start them from number one, and then it'll give them a sequence each time. Options JPEG, we'll just go with that for the moment and we want to save it to the desktop, which is where the last one was. We'll see what happens. Here we go, we're going to scan one of 12. Slow process scanning with any copying of movies or slides and prints. It's always a slow process, it's worth the effort if you do it. This is telling us we've got eight minutes to go. I'll just stop for a minute. You can see just over here that our uh, first slide has come up for Israel. Israel 001 JPEG. There it is, just there. So we're now on number two. Okay, so we've, we've nearly finished this scan. There's about two or one more to go. And you can see all the the uh, shots are building up on the right hand side there, the little individual folders. So in a minute I'll create another folder and I'll call it Israel and I'll dump these 12 shots into that. And then uh, we'll see what else we can talk about with this scanner and the whole process. Show you some of the other templates that come with it as well. Here we go, it's nearly there. 12. Okay, so there we go. We can see some of these uh, slides here. They all look pretty good to me. So I'll just hide this over here, that one, and we will perhaps just hide that. And I'll just turn you off for a minute and I'll come back and create a little folder and put these in. Okay, so here are Uncle Harry's slides that he took. He, I think he had a little, just a little Agfa point and shoot camera, no it was an Olympus trip camera I think it was, that he used to use had to take most of this and um, so I'll just flick through them these all of course need some editing on your uh, software but they don't look too bad just coming out like that, that's an old tank from 1948 or something, armoured car these have all got um, titles written on the back of them beautiful shot of those kids and that's some sort of um, um, a festival that these young Israelis were taking, uh, the Feast of Pur Purim or something, I don't know, a young Jewish boy, waterfall, Golan Valley, that's the, the Hilton I think in um, Tel Aviv or somewhere. There you go, so they're not too bad are they? You do scanning just using one of these Epsom V700s um, for both, you can do just about anything you can scan on it, even glass plate negatives I've done some of those and they come out beautiful glass plate negatives um quite large i'll show you some of the templates that we've got in a second just a minute. some of the other guides that you use for scanning this is for a large format um 
negative sheet negative by the looks of things i've never used one of those never had one to use but i think you can use that on there that's the film area guide um that's that one this one here is for your 120 roll film you can put that in there 120 roll film either transparencies uncut or negative film color film black and white film and this is your four five four by four by five shots i think you can use this one and uh, i think that's just about all you can do do the different templates you've got and as i said once you um, you take this out and you want to scan just ordinary things you put this back in here just a minute I'll, okay you can see that they'll put that in place there now that just hooks in and out the handle there so let me put something under this now and we'll just do an ordinary scan so we'll see what happens i'll see what i can find to put in there so what i've just done and the first part of what i video before didn't come out so i'm just going to show you what i did do i'm just uh, scanning a, a book cover now so this is a, a book i've been reading so you just put it over here put it in there whoops put it in there the video is still going i hope it is shut it down we'll go back and see if we can do this again because i did this before but i pressed the wrong button find the scanner now there it is we'll open up the scanner could take a little while here we go we're in home mode we're going to do a magazine we're going to do it in color and we i did all this before so it's sitting there that's what it looks like in the scan so now we're just going to scan it but we need to actually change the name of it uh, uh let's see just see what happens uh, we want to make it we'll just call this agnes well, that's the name of the author agnes sanford we'll just call that agnes and we'll call it one and we'll scan it we could play around with the settings but we're not gonna i did put the little wiggly lines around it to to uh, make sure i didn't scan the whole desktop you should see this come up in a minute and that's we'll just get rid of that we'll just get rid of that and it should be come up over here here it is agnes so there you go we've got a that's a jpeg i'm not sure how to do uh, on this particular laptop with the software here on a pdf it's probably you can do it on something else or there but anyway so you can view into the full screen so that comes up pretty good like that anyway there you go to be continued well uh, while doing this exercise i came across some more slides in another box and uh, they were shots that my dad took at a wedding that i actually photographed back in the 1970s so uh, I scanned the slides. There's a collection of about 10 of them all together, I think, and sent them off to the couple who were very excited to get them the other day and sent me a nice email back after I sent them to them. So uh, this was at the Holy Trinity Church in Adelaide many years ago. And uh, it's just amazing to look back on, on these things and um, thinking that um, I'm now a bit older. Anyway, I hope you found this all interesting. And... Um, like if you like, subscribe if you wish. It's a bit disjointed. Some of the uh, filming I mucked up and, uh, and I left it out. But anyway, you get the drift of it. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you later.